Welcome to Really Cool Stuff for the Home podcast, sponsored by HomeWorks. And now with today's show on all the ways to improve your home is your host, Denise Sanchez. While I was at the Kitchen and Bath show in January, in the beginning of February, I got to hook up to one of the most knowledgeable people about Mila products, Jeff Pelushi. And Jeff Pelushi, thank you so much for coming back and chatting with us. So uh, I love while, being here, Denise. Thank you. Good. Um, um, it's always a pleasure to have you. You're so smart and knowledgeable about everything. And then you're so much fun, too. So <laughs> while I was at the Kitchen the Bath show, they were debuting their new generation of cooking equipment, and it was unbelievable what they could do. Can you talk about some of the new innovations? And, and they've always had innovations, and they do all this in-house, right? Their uh, technology do. is not outsourced. It's done in-house, which is incredible. Those That's correct, yes. Right? But some of the newer features, you've got to talk to us about it. Well, one of the things that we showed at the Kitchen and Bath Show is uh, a new series for Mila USA and for Mila in general. It's called Artline. And Artline is a series of built-in cooking appliances and coffee systems that are handleless. And they're kind of designed around the, the, uh, a new, um, a new uh, flavor of kitchen that's evolving in the United States, which is called a minimalist kitchen, which is where wow. everything is integrated. Everything is completely flat. Mm -hmm. um, everything is behind cabinet doors. So for example, one of the, the things that got kind of the most attention was the new 30 inch art line uh, graphite gray ovens. It's and stunning one of the too. reasons- Absolutely stunning. I love the color, it's really awesome. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a depth to it that's hard to describe. You kind of have to see it to, to, to really understand it. But the Artline 30-inch single oven can actually be built in behind cabinet doors. And this, oh. is, this is becoming something that is, um, that is increasingly popular. In Europe, inter interestingly, this is much farther along mm -hmm. uh, than it is here in the States. But uh, here in the States, it's catching on nicely. Uh, the, the way they can get away with being behind doors is that they built a sensor into the control panel. And we call it's a motion sensor. We call it motion react. And so the system can actually pick up when you're close to the front of the oven and it will automatically turn the lights on so that you don't have to touch anything. Like if your hands are full or if your hands are, you know, you've got dough on your hands or you got, you know, uh, powder on your baking powder on your hands, um, flour on your hands, you can just kind of bend down and look at the oven. It will automatically light for you or turn on. Uh, if that's what you want it to do, you can change that in settings. But the but the better part of that sensor is that um, if you put the oven behind cabinet doors and you close those oven doors, when you're using the oven, the door the cabinet doors always have to be open during use right. because otherwise the oven can't cool itself down, right? right. So the sensors can sense the front of that cabinet door and alarm and tell you, hey, somebody accidentally closed the door oh, wow. and you can go reopen the door again. If it doesn't, if somebody doesn't come back and open the door, it will shut itself down to prevent any damage occurring uh -huh. from either, to, you know, to either the oven or the cabinet itself. So it's not only convenient and fully integrated, even fully hidden, it's also very safe at the same time and convenient because you don't have to actually touch it to turn it on and turn the lights on. That's amazing. And I know there's a camera inside. Is it to watch me cook or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the camera actually looks at the user and then criticizes you. No, yeah. it's just a, no. That would be so the, the camera is actually built into the ceiling of the oven. We call this food view. And it is designed with a 1.2 megapixel high resolution camera. It can see over 196,000 colors. It can focus on five different rack levels in full color, real time images. Oh my God. And what this allows you to do is to actually look at something without having to open the door. This is very important, mm -hmm. especially when you're doing things with multiple racks and you don't want to break that thermal envelope. Being able to see uh, the food in real time, real color, you can say, you know what? That bread is browned exactly where I want it to be. Now I'm going to stop it. And this is where we integrated another a feature that is just taking the market by storm and it's called rapid cooling. Now mm -hmm. rapid cooling is where you can just go to your, your app on your phone or your tablet. And you, after you've looked at the food with your camera, you hit rapid cooling and the oven will automatically very slowly open up the door just about an, an inch and a half, maybe an inch and a quarter. And then it will turn on another cooling fan and it will bring room temperature air through the door 
mix it with warm air in the oven, blow that oven out the front, which is only barely warm. It's barely even, but that will never hurt you at all. It's very, very cool air, mm-hmm. but it will drop that oven temperature so rapidly that the, the food inside of it will not continue to cook. Oh, you this can't is absolutely I spectacular. So you can look at the food. <laughs> you can look at the food, say it's brown perfectly. I don't want it to cook any longer. Hit rapid cooling on your phone. The oven cools in a matter of two minutes. And then all of a sudden your food is not cooking anymore and you don't even have to be there and oh. it won't continue to cook. It'll save that food uh, exactly where it's going to be. As a matter of fact, the, the marketing name for it is taste control because it prevents overcooking of foods uh-huh. and you can control it anywhere. And by the way, it's perfect for things like um, meats where you, if you leave a meat in the oven for five minutes too long, uh-huh. it'll go from medium rare to medium well. Right, right. This, this will stop that entirely. Yeah. Uh, it's more advanced than any other system out there. Well, I can't tell you how many times I've disappointed my grandkids because I got a little distracted and the cookies burned. So definitely something I could use. And yep. another neat thing too is it's handleless. So you can just touch the oven and it automatically opens, right? And yes. then it's a 50 pound door. And how would you close that? Well, what's interesting is that um, once you hit the door lock button and it opens, and by the way, just to, just to clarify, if you lose power, uh-huh. the door is not locked shut. You can mm-hmm. still pull it open, mm-hmm. okay? So you're not locked out of your oven. You don't have to worry about that if you ever lose power. But once you hit that button and it ejects the oven door and it opens up slowly and lowers for you nice and gently, once you go to close the door, it has almost no weight to it whatsoever. It's almost completely counterbalanced. Mm-hmm. So you can just literally pull up on the door and it shuts very easily. But, the, but it, it weighs takes almost no effort. Pounds. That's what's incredible, right? Yeah, that's as a matter of fact, uh, we're very, very good at that. We do it with our, our dishwasher doors as well. Exactly. The doors are very solid, very mm-hmm. heavy, high-grade steels, but they're counterbalanced. Uh-huh. It's, it's kind of like a, 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 a bank vault door in your bank. Uh, those doors weigh five tons, yeah. and yet when, once they're open, they're completely counterbalanced. You can move them very easily. So it's the same type of concept. Well, at Homeworks, we do really cool stuff for the home, and we partner with Mila, who also does really cool stuff for the home. Come see us at HomeworksSA.com or MilaUSA.com and check out the features. There's even some videos that show uh, the the machines opening, and I'm going to be also showing some of the videos that I took at KBiz, and you're in it as well. Oh, no. <laughs> you were oh, so no. good. <laughs> but I had so much fun there, and it was so innovative. It's always a beautiful, beautiful. Um, showcase that Mila does. The only complaint I have is that y'all did have a, a, uh, this one area where you were cooking food, the chefs were yes. cooking food. I didn't get invited. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. We could not have fit any more people in there if we tried. I know. I know. That's what happened. It was too many people and they just ran out of space. So yes. I sat there looking at the window, you know, peering <laughs> in. <laughs> Puppy let dog eyes. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Jeff, thank you so much. I so appreciate you uh, visiting you, with Denise. us and giving us a little bit of your knowledge. Thank you so much. Homeworks. Really it's always a pleasure. Thank home. you.